Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. In this film, I'd like to show you how to, due to a viewer's uh, request here, how to take a, a, a schedule, such as a lighting fixture schedule specifically, and divide that into two different schedules so you can put them on two different sheets if you wanted to do that. One thing about schedules, and it's very typical about, um, in regard to uh, a lot of uh, Revit uh, objects that you put in, whether it's a 2D or a 3D object, is it, give you, it gives you modification tools embedded into that object. We're all familiar with uh, the triangles on top of this, which allow us to stretch those fields out in order to accommodate uh, text to put it on on a single line, which is some, something we were trying to do. But another object inside of this, too, is a, this little squiggly line. And if you click on that little squiggly line, it takes your lighting fixture schedule and roughly breaks it up into two. And this might be useful if you're trying to take a schedule on a sheet and put that into two different columns on that sheet, because there's plenty of room in a sheet. You can take your schedule and uh, maybe put one column over here and a second column over here. It's an easy way to get that thing divided. And of course it gives you polar grips, uh, snaps, and polar tracking in order to allow you to line those schedules up if you wanted to do that. To reverse that, and you notice that in uh, the lower left hand corner of the, of the second schedule, it gives you a little move symbol that if you click on that you can move your schedule around or that portion of the schedule around. And for now, just to show you how to reverse this, we're going to move this off to the side. Take our original schedule, we're going to stretch that down a little bit. And if you do that, if you take that circular grip and move that down, it takes information off of this schedule, moves it to the original schedule. And eventually you're going to get down to the bare bones up here where you don't have any entries here at all. And when you want to get rid of that, you just take that, drag it into the original schedule. All gone, back where we were, where we were before. So let me show you how to take a schedule and uh, divide, that up, uh, divide that up amongst two different sheets. But in the way we're going to do that, so we're going to take the original schedule, make a copy of it, and use the filter command in order to filter out uh, the marks on our schedule and make two unique schedules with the same information. And the schedules will be identical except for the, the mark of the fixtures that are in there. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this uh, video and I'll get started on the next video with that information.